to another studio vlog. If you don't know me, my name's Tammy. I'm an artist, but I also go by Uncomfy because your girl's a little anxious, but I'm working on it. As always, I love to make these videos to help inspire and above all comfort others just like me. I truly believe that art was one of those things I was just meant to do, and I'm so grateful to be able to do this with you guys. This video is pretty exciting for me to make. Not only is it another week in my life, but it's also gonna be a little fun studio makeover. Nothing major, but in this video, I'm doing a lot of organizing. I almost never show you guys the messy part of my studio, but we're gonna tackle that today. We're also gonna install some hanging plant fixtures. I've been wanting to do this since I moved into this apartment five months ago. Um, we're gonna add some lanterns. I look horrible right now, so don't look at me, but <laughs> a lot of people were wondering how I glaze my pieces. I use UV resin, and this is the mask that I use. I keep it in a Ziploc bag because you're supposed to not let it get exposed to air too much or else the cartridges will wear out faster. 3M mask with these pink cartridges. They filter out organic vapors, which is what you need for UV resin. Using a respirator with the windows open, ceiling fan running, also wearing nitrile gloves so the resin doesn't seep through your hands, and cleaning everything up when you're done is super, super important. So that is my spiel on UV resin. I used to just dunk my charms in varathane, polyurethane, but I found that the fumes from that are just as bad as UV resin, and UV resin lasts a lot longer plastic so yeah I switched to UV resin like almost a year ago now I like to do an initial cure under the UV lamp for at least 60 seconds or however long it takes me to fill up this tray and then afterwards I'll take them all outside and have them cure under direct sunlight. And all of these supplies are linked in my Amazon storefront if you'd like to purchase them. I do make a commission but I also put them there to be helpful for you guys. happy with how much I got done at the cafe. I just did everything that was sort of cluttering my mind, like my emails, my messages, my DMs. So I just took care of all of that. I have all my ducks in one place. Is that what the saying is? I have all my ducks. Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that I feel like my mind was so filled with all the things that I have to do and it's just like that's how it is every week but I think really just getting all the boring tasks out of the way so I can set myself up to just work. I even managed to finish and send out some commission sketches so that was really nice. I was working on another Forever Pond sculpture except this one with frogs and it's for my customer and her late nephew so yeah just casually crying in the cafe. <laughs> but now I think I'm gonna head over to the plant store. I need to get more plants for my studio. You'll see what I've been working on in terms of redecoration. Here are the babies. Also some on the floor. I was planning on going to an actual plant nursery, but the plants I've gotten from an actual plant nursery so far, I just can't take care of them, even if it's a normal house plant. My theory is that the plant nurseries take such good care of them that when I transport them back to my apartment, they just don't thrive. I decided to save myself some grief this time just by going to Home Depot. Plus, I'm not trying to spend over $50 on plants. But yeah, I'm so excited to bring them home and just set up the studio with you guys. Red 
dusty red on her shoulder I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over In the dark morning dew We brushed and we braided Dandelions and chewed It was a mutual arrangement We both saw in two Can she walk in the fire? Can she run in the rain? Can she make it up the mountainside? Can she make it down again? I have often wondered if she'll go and jump the fence. Will she keep on moving onward or stay in? Here are the lanterns that I put up yesterday. I think they're pretty cute, but what I didn't show you yesterday was the state of this corner. It's pretty bad, it's not cozy at all. All my packing supplies, random stuff, uh, my Cricut cutting machine, and then this rack that I use to put all my Palmer clay, but there's just so much clutter. In the corner we have some plant food, and on this tray is like Legos that I never finished building, so. I was using my roommate's wine bottle as a vase for my flowers, but the flowers are long gone. Um, so it's just been sitting here for like months now. I'm probably gonna give this back to her. Maybe I'll build this one day, maybe I won't. Mm -hmm. and I keep all of the liners from my shipping labels because I use them sort of as palettes when I work with UV resin. They're good for painting too. Here are the first radishes that I ever made. They were also just sitting in that random tin. Let's put them in here. done now so I'm just heading back to my roommate's car. I think I was pretty good at printing the photos. I just wish that I took more interesting photos so maybe this weekend I'll go somewhere really interesting or take night photos or something. I don't know.
tonight is a very exciting night because I'm announcing the winner of my giveaway. If you don't know, last week I opened a giveaway to give away this Jumbo Maxine and this little tiny frog with Crocs on to celebrate 50,000 subscribers on YouTube as well as 90,000 on Instagram. So I think it was just like the best way for me to thank you guys is by doing a giveaway. I'm gonna announce the winners at six o'clock, which is 20 minutes from now, but I'm looking at the giveaway post and over 5,000 people entered the giveaway, which is crazy. Every single day I think about what I do for a living and it's just amazing and I'm so thankful to be able to give back to you guys in the form of a giveaway. But the time is now approaching to select a winner. I found this website that randomly selects a winner by analyzing the comments of the Instagram posts as well as the stories posts. So yeah, it's very, very exciting. Good morning. <laughs> I wanted to do like a fun transition, but I'm I'm really not a transitions girly. It is the next morning. I picked the giveaway winners and I announced it on Instagram and I DM'd them and they were both super happy and yeah, it just felt really good to give back to my community. I'll be packing those up probably in the next couple days and shipping them off to them. It's snowing today, which I'm pretty happy about actually. It's really cozy and sort of motivates me to sit and sculpt all day. I don't know, when it's sunny, it's really nice to take photos and film for you guys, but not gonna lie, sometimes I get sad that I'm inside instead of outside when it's sunny and nice out um, but today it's cold and I don't like the cold so it makes me really grateful to be inside and just work on my art all day. This is the corner so far. It's not much. I'm really liking how much more organized it is compared to how it was. It's not a perfect solution like either this rack needs to be painted white or I just need to buy another wooden shelf like the one I have in this corner, like something like this to, to put in this like little wall divot we have here. Um, but yeah, I think it still just looks a little cramped. All my extra big blocks of clay are here. This will be my works in progress shelf. So all the clay goes there before it's baked. But this is just a ton of slime that I had sitting on the floor. I decided to put it out because a lot of people don't know this, but I actually have accumulated a lot of slime because I just think the slime community in itself is so cute. So I love buying them, but I don't play with them often. So I figured if I put them out here where I could actually see them, then I would actually be able to you know, admire them and play with them occasionally. Then up here, it's still really jumbled, but it's a lot of glass and Legos and my film camera. And then you, as you saw, the foil and just like random things, random bins that I use occasionally as well. I do plan on putting some photos up around here, probably my black and white photos that I just developed. I think I want to get a new desk as well. This one's bit too small so if I had a desk that extended out past this wall then I could actually use it for packing orders and stuff. I've never thought of myself as like an interior designer. I was never really into decorating my room back at home but after I got my own studio space aka my parents guest room when I started Uncomfy like two years ago it became so important for me to learn how to decorate my space to my likings because it was really just a dreary dark room so I had to learn how to to liven the space up, make it as cozy as possible, but work with the natural lighting that I had at the same time. And even though I still don't think my space is like Pinterest worthy or anything, it's like I'm slowly building my confidence in decorating spaces. It's like that meme, like I work hard to make this house a home. That's, that's me right now. I don't really spend my money on clothes anymore. I spend my money on furniture and decorations. And I think that's part of me growing up. It was really just two simple things that I've been given getting really comfortable with is house plants and paper lanterns to make my space as cozy as possible for myself. Okay, that was enough of me talking about, let's get sculpting now. So right now I'm sculpting some figurines for a different brand, not my own, but this is another thing that I've been doing on the side is making content for other brands. One of the main ways that you guys see me doing this type of work is when I'm doing YouTube integrations. But this is one of the special cases where I'm making a UGC video. If you don't know what a UGC video is, it stands for user generated content and it's when a brand pays a creator to make a video, not to post on the creator's account, but to post 
post on the brand's account. So they're basically contracting you to produce videos for them for their own use. Where they post it or whether or not they post it at all is totally up to them. But I wanted to share this other stream of revenue for you guys in case you are the type of person who is anxious in front of the camera. This is a whole new way to make money off social media without even having to maintain your own social media account or even show your face. And there's a whole UGC community on TikTok where they share their tips and tricks. I'm not sure if I can even name the brand, but I'm sure you can guess. Last month, I made these two figurines for them. One was a bunny and one was a frog and they both did super, super well. So for this month, I have to make two more videos. And for one of them, I'm thinking of making another bunny. Because it's snowing today, I thought of this one TikTok that I saw. So I thought it'd be really cute if I made a bunny with the puffer jacket with headphones because I have the exact same outfit. I hope is a really cute idea. Here are the finished pieces. I'm super proud of this one. I'll probably make this a design just without the shoes. And I also did this one. It looks a bit goofy, but I think it's really cute and chunky. I also think the charm on it is a nice touch. So I'm gonna bake these now, glaze them, take photos and footage of the finished product, and then I think I'll have enough to make the videos and send them to the brand by tomorrow. And that's pretty much the whole work process of making a UGC video. I don't think many people sculpt for UGC videos. It's like a very few people from the Palmer Clay community who do this, but I know a ton of other niches that do these types of videos as well. It's actually snowing pretty hard now, so I'm gonna make some comfort food. I actually already ate lunch, but I don't know why I'm still hungry. Whenever I make ramen, I like to add things to it, so it's like a more of a wholesome meal. Usually I add like spinach or an egg, but since I already ate eggs this morning, I just wanted some kimchi. Kimchi adds like nice probiotics and extra spice, but I think maybe the cheese sort of cancels out all those benefits, so. We use a lot of green onions and recently we started propagating our own green onions, so we have like a little grunion farm going on. So I wanted to sort of showcase everything I made this week just because, I don't know, I just put so much love into these guys and I don't really put them in the spotlight as much as I should in these studio vlogs. So I made a couple pen holders. This is the Cottage Core Radish Spirit pen holder. It has little mushrooms on it. This is the Log Frog. You guys are very well accustomed to him. He's actually in a lot of my vlogs. At least once a week, I'll get an order for an alpaca bear desk friend. You guys saw this keycap already. It has little strawberries and clouds and flowers as well. Now I'm just gonna test it out on this little keycap here. This frog cake is gonna be a keychain, as well as this guy, this guy, this guy and this little baby. And each of the radishes have their own accompany charm, so the crybaby has a little teardrop with it. And then these two will be a pair of earrings. I love how the fishes are translucent. They look like glass in the sun. A lot of people don't know this, but I actually pre-make all the keychains ahead of time with this really large thick chain, as well as these swivel clasps. So here are all the pre-made ones which makes it just a lot easier to assemble things once they're done glazing. This is a super small batch because I really just want to focus on editing this YouTube video, actually. For the little side charms, I use these really big jump rings. Maxine has become sort of a superstar on Instagram and TikTok. I have this series where I'm trying to make the biggest Maxine that I can make. <laughs> But oh my gosh, people are saying that I should go bigger and, and honestly, the last one I made was super hard to make already. So I don't know, maybe I'll do it. Um, maybe I'll do it for... 
A lot of these designs, like this frog cake, I've been making for almost two years now. And I think that sort of shows my personality, like I'm super loyal. So most of the friends I've had, I've had since at least middle school. And I don't make new friends easily. So even though a lot of people have told me that I should make designs that are exclusive or I should let go of old designs to make room for new ones, I just, I can't let them go. They're like my little friends, you know? Like these guys were with me since I opened my shop. I can't stop making them. I don't know, I'm way too attached. Rusty red on her shoulder, I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over in the black morning 